Welcome back to GDs to a brand new episode of Into the Breach, and I'm super excited today for two primary reasons. One, because I get to bring you more content here of this amazing game. But secondly, today is the day where I have finally released my first original song. That's right, Weight of Dreams. It goes over how your ambitions and goals can often feel like they're more of a vice than a solution. That the process of creation is not that of just your own work, but something that you can mold yourself into. And at the end of the day, success won't bring you happiness. So hard to be here, but now I see that success won't bring the happiness. So you know what? Feel free to go check out my first original song here in the channel. It should be the video probably just prior to this one. And I really hope you go ahead and take a look, appreciate it. If you enjoy it, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, all that fun stuff. I am super glad to not only be done with these two projects, to have just more time to just make videos but as well just a little bit of relaxation gotta say it's a little bit nice i i am greatly proud of what i've been able to make and i am greatly proud that you guys have so far been enjoying it and i'm also just glad the fact that now i don't have to work on it anymore i'm tired of it <laughs> so hey let's sit down relax and play more of into the breach where i think that we're coming to an culmination of what may be our final i mean we've only done one episode on it but this is a little bit of a roguelike game and we are straight struggling not having any extra abilities level ups and stuff like that all you know apply to our euros or time travelers just yet so if you've not seen the first episode again feel free to go check that out as well explain a lot of it but it's very straightforward it is a top-down strategy based kind of turn-based game and you know what the best way to see a game is to just play the game so why don't we go ahead stop talking and see exactly what we're jumping into so we need to either go to one of these two sectors we need to either defend the train or defend the artillery support and protect the power generator now I have not done a very good job at protecting things in general, so having to protect two things is going to be a little daunting. So why don't we go ahead and just do the restoration center and just defend the train? That seems much more like a viable option for us. Let's see exactly what we're getting ourselves into. Diesel trains may be old fashioned, but today's standards, but old Horace here is going strong. He's vital to our supply lines. Yeah, I'd say. Oh, God. The, the, you're telling me that they spawned right there on the other side. Okay, so the train is right here in the center. It's going to be crossing right over. I don't know how many spaces it moves. I'm going to go ahead and assume... I think it moves two squares. And there in the very bottom left, we see the supply train. I do see it has two squares of movement there. Very important. But it does, I think, get taken out in a single hit. So we got to lay down our robots very uh, effectively strategically uh, we'll try our best these guys do have four bits of health on top of the soldier scion here also gives the other units around him plus one health as well so we probably want to take out the scion as soon as possible so the train is going to be short up here i'm going to go ahead and place the mech here at the forefront to kind of get rid of this first firefly and on top of that i'm going to do my two cannon mechs i'm going to do the cannon mech here in the front and i'm going to do the artillery in the back because the artillery can shoot over other mechs I think this Firefly is probably going to immediately go towards the train and try to web it up. I'm going to see if I can get rid of the Scion unit. Oh my god. Never mind. He's not going to go towards the train. He's going to go immediately towards trying to shoot one of the, I guess, city skyscrapers to take out our power grid. It's, it's a choice. I'm not really sure why it's making that choice of all things, but it is a choice. Now, I see something here where the train is actually going to move into the unit and die i think it's gonna hurt yeah they're both gonna get damaged in that process so we also have to clear the tracks of enemies to make sure that they don't get in the way well immediately i'm gonna go ahead and just fire at this guy get rid of this scion because this thing is just it's, it's in the way it is going to be damaging our buildings it is going to be kind of damaging everything oh we have ice i just realized ice tile so that's how that little firefly is standing on the water right now because things are frozen well, I kind of want to block his shot towards the skyscraper because we don't want to be losing our power grid anymore. If we lose our power grid, we lose. So I'm going to go ahead and actually put... Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and put the artillery mech in the way. It can take a shot. I'm going to go ahead and throw a shot at this firefly. Maybe it'll actually hurt him and maybe push him away. I know it's going to hurt him, but is it going to push him out of the way? No, not really. Just kind of there. But I just noticed it does damage the ice tile. Damaged ice tile. Turns into water tile when destroyed. One hit will destroy it. Um, well, I did hit it once. So maybe it's about to drop into the water when I end my turn. But we still have our combat mech here. And I'm going to go ahead and push him. One punch does also block the spawning of that unit as well. So that is a great first turn. Enemy turn. What do you guys got for us? Yeah, there's one shot at me. Does a little bit of damage. Hole's almost gone. Oh, and he sets him on fire. 
burning force. The force on this tile took damage, turn it into fire. Note to self, when you're staying on top of trees, they like to burst into flames. You know what? Who's counting? I mean, you know, whatever. <laughs> we have the, yeah, it blocks the enemy there. Beautiful. And they are kind of moving around quite effectively, right? So I'm going to try to focus that Scion again, simply because it should drop their health low enough to actually get rid of one of these targets, right? If, I, I think so. I mean, okay. How do I want to do this? Can I get my cannon over there at all? No, I can't. I really can't quite get a good angle on it anywhere. And this will put me in the water. And while in the water, you can't shoot or attack other enemies. So what I think I'm going to want to do here, if I'm going to want to take out the Scion, I'm going to have to go ahead and target or move my artillery, lay off a shot here. It'll push this. Yeah, it'll push this lizard into the water, right? Yeah, that should take him out. So if I go ahead and take out this guy right now, take over the Scion, boom, it unwebs him. He falls into the water, but this guy is still taking a shot at the skyscraper. So we got to be careful, but my mech does move far enough to actually go ahead and punch this guy for two damage. That should take him out. It saves our skyscraper. He is still on fire, though. That is a problem. <laughs> that is always going to be a bit of a problem. I think I'm going to actually go ahead and stop the Vec from spawning by going ahead and putting my cannon directly on top of his tile. I do take a little bit of damage when he tries to do it, but honestly, I'm not too concerned. We'll go ahead and end our turn and call it good. Yeah, don't, yeah, I'm going to leave that. I don't want to get rid of the prompt of don't ask again because there is a good chance that I may just completely forget about it. So yes, I will end my turn. Enemy anyway, turn coming up. One damage for the fire. Hopefully they survive a little bit long enough. I want to heal up that fire here. Yeah, there he moves around threatened. Good, good. So we have one more turn to go. I'm going to go ahead and repair myself here. Beautiful. It puts out the fire and do heal one. That's nice. I'm going to go ahead and take a shot with my cannon. Oh, and that does two damage. That's right, because it does one for hurting him and it does one for pushing him into the rocks. Very effective. Very nice. Get rid of him. Boom, baby. One less Vec and disposed of. We have nothing else to worry about. We have actually won the area. End turn. Continue. And that should do it for us, right? Enemy activity where? Perfect victory. Perfect victory. Three cheers. Everybody's all right. There we go. Mission complete. All right. I'm really starting to get the hang of this game. I know those could be my very final words. Old Horace made it to his destination without a scratch on him. With most of our past under the sea, it's a great day. We can protect our history from the Vec. Let's go. Continue along. So this next battle, we should have an opportunity to go ahead and level them up. We need to defend the satellite launches or defend the artillery support, protect the power generator, and same as well, end battle with less than four mech damage, protect the emergency batteries. And we have air supports? Excuse me? Historic County? Well, I mean, DigiDs, I don't know about you, but I love air support as much as the next guy as soon as I heard an A-10 Warhog. So let's go. We've recently got a few old Earth jets in the air. My people aren't the most skilled pilots yet, but they're getting the hang of it. I don't know. That doesn't instill a lot of confidence into me, but you do you, my man. I will take any form of air support. Anyone who can fly a plane and just drop a bomb for us is going to be better than anything. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and try to protect these cities as much as I possibly can by placing my mech in front of that first tile so they can't get around so easily necessarily. And we'll do the same thing, putting the cannon there, and we will have the artillery a little bit more in the backside because the artillery can fire potentially anywhere at all so we don't have to worry about these mountains being in the way although to be fair i've not experimented with it being able to shoot over mountains just yet pod incoming we picked up a time pod excuse me it's one of those pods might be someone inside i i'm sorry uh, uh okay well thank you for the explanation I'm like what am i supposed to know about a time pod this pod contains equipment from the future you can collect it with your mech or just defend it until the end of battle um Okay, yeah, you know, just, you, you know that situation where time pods just fall out of space? Yeah, it happens all the time. It's an average, uh, it's an average Tuesday, average Sunday day, you know, whatever it is. We do have air support coming in. Looks like here on his left-hand side, that's going to take out this fly for us. So I probably don't have to concern myself with him too much, considering the fact that it's going to be coming in here. Probably, I think bombs will be dropped here, instantly killing any units. I don't know exactly when they drop their bombs. I'm going to assume it's directly after I hit end turn. So we do have this scorpion sitting here in a beautiful position. So first off, we're going to go ahead and put ourselves on top of this time pod. 
we do get it acquired uh but because of that we do two damage with our fist regularly but because he gets pushed into the mountain he takes an extra bit of damage for hitting into the side of the mountain instantly killing that guy beautiful and he does level up now to protect myself from being hit by this guy he's doing a ranged attack i think what i need to do here and sadly i'm actually one square away from being able to do what i wanted to do i was going to go ahead and actually try to blow up the tile next to him to push him in the direction to so he goes ahead and hits the mountain instead of my mech however it looks like i'm not gonna be able to get quite so lucky but that is perfectly fine i'm gonna go ahead and move my artillery over and at least get one good shot off on this guy because yeah i can't really get any other method of doing this i can push both my guys away but i rather just do one damage to the fly beautiful and that should be it i mean we could use the cannon but do we really need the, we don't really need the cannon for anything in particular so maybe just to avoid taking damage or possibly setting myself on fire i'm gonna go ahead and move the cannon a little bit and then go ahead and fire at it just so he takes one damage moves more into the center of the territory i should be fine let's end turn and see what happens does the airdrop happen yes okay beautiful so it happens directly after my turn very well noted we took a little bit of damage there but remember we have to take less than four damage that was already one damage right there alone so that is a bit concerning and i am oh god um i am surrounded X. okay well um <laughs> i have suddenly found myself very very surrounded so how do i want to fix this situation um the artillery actually can't move away far enough i wanted to move the artillery behind this skyscraper to go ahead and fire at this scorpion so it'll push back my mech now the issue here is um that's not gonna work that is not gonna work this is actually just gonna do a cascading effect of pushing multiple units so i'm gonna go ahead and shoot here that'll push into my mech or my mech is gonna push into the dragonfly so they're all gonna take a little bit of damage which is you know a problem but i need to get out of that territory because my mech is currently in the area of that airstrike so how do i get myself out of this situation i need to think a little bit one minute later okay i thought about it there is a solution here there is a way out of this i've thought long and hard and the solution is you need to bomb the mountains <laughs> you need to bomb the mountains so first off what i'm gonna do i think i'm going to go ahead and move my artillery over one space now i don't have to worry about this dragonfly attacking because it's not ranged it is a stab effect so his attack is not going to go ahead and hit the civilian buildings but my mech right now is completely webbed down and cannot move out of this situation that is a problem we cannot have that happen so what we're going to do we're going to take this artillery and its capability to push targets around hit this mountain which should push our mech correct i know that he is webbed right now but this should push him because it's like an effect right the web just means i can't move it shouldn't mean that i can't be pushed please for the love of god do not prove me wrong firing thank god <laughs> thank, thank god that worked <laughs> that that is good that is beautiful because now multiple things happen i don't take damage from the hornet that was going to hurt my artillery my mech is no longer bugged down and no longer gonna be hit by the airstrike but we are still gonna be hit by this bug over here but i do two damage with my punching ability which allows me to take out this guy fantastic and now we have absolutely nothing to worry about no nothing to worry about at all what could possibly go wrong i'm gonna go ahead and put myself on top of these trees again get a little bit closer to the other side just in case i need to move my territory over um i can't really do anything with my can right now although i guess i could try to light these trees on fire i don't know what, what good that's gonna do for me but you know hey why not the nature's had it good for too long <laughs> just go ahead and burn down the forest why don't i so let's go ahead and see exactly what happens. Got the airdrop, take him out, and it blows up the mountain. My God, hello. He misses his stab. He's probably going to chase me down and try to do another stabbing effect. Got another hornet. Oh, hello. So that is going to be hitting right on top of those mountains again. I don't have to worry about the fact that he is going to be stabbing the civilian artifact. If only we could dump acid on the emerging Vec. What is acid it said acid that is definitely an acronym for something i don't know what so we have the airstrike coming and that's going to take care of this hornet so we don't have to worry about that we do have this one here that is going to be trying to stab me but that again it only hits targets directly in front of us right if we go ahead and look at his ability yes yeah, stab the target that is not a concern 
I don't really have the capability to get around him and then try to punch him. So I'm going to go ahead and just back up, I suppose. Yeah, I'm just I'm just going to back up and just call it good. I say, you know, you know, may as well back up and I can go ahead and repair myself as well. Get one health back so I don't have to be as worried. Oh, and I just noticed, excuse me, the bonus objectives, current zero, it was at one because I took one damage, but because I healed it, it goes back down. So end with less four mech damage. Okay, so that's not saying end with taking less than four damage overall. It's saying just end with less four damage on your mechs in general. Well, that is very handy. That is a very handy Danny Smanny kind of move. But you know what? What's even a better move here? We want this dragonfly. We want this hornet looking thing. I'm just gonna call them dragonflies. They look like dragonflies. I'm not gonna remember they're called hornets. The dragonfly is in a precarious position. So I did move my mech out of the way to not be stabbed. But you know what? We need to get him inside the range of the artil or not of the artillery strike, of the range of the airstrike. So if I go ahead and hit this target behind him, boom, he moves into the territory. Now they'll both be taken out by the airstrike. I am about to be hit by this Vec over here. But I could also just like simply move out of the way, which, you know, I guess is an option. But I kind of want to light this forest on fire because I can take a few more hits on this can guy and not be worried. If I light this forest on fire, it should kind of protect us from any other Vec coming this direction in the future. Not entirely certain. We're going to have one more turn to go after this. So shoot him. He is on fire. Uh, I yeah, I can't dodge, unfortunately. So he's also going to be setting me on fire. There can be a lot of forest fires around here. Not going to lie. Let's end the turn. Let the airstrike drop right on top of these dragonflies. Come on, baby. Show me a little bit of freedom. Yeah, <laughs> it takes out another mountain. You know, just just get rid of a mountain entirely. And that mountain range was in the way. Target systems have confirmed the Vec arrival. Yeah, I'd say the Vec are definitely here. Well, so we have a few options here. Let's see where he's going to go. Damn webs. Oh, yeah, I'd say so. We are taking damage, right? And this guy's about to do some damage. How do we get out of this scenario? We have the air support coming in and that's going to literally land on nobody. So the air support is not going to help us in this final wave. What I think we can do, I'm going to go ahead and block this guy's shots. So I am on fire, but if I just go ahead and repair myself, boom, we're up to full health and we're not on fire. I'll block his shot, take one damage. That's perfectly fine. Now, what we want to do, we want to save if possible, we want to save the civilian buildings to get our power grid still working. Now, I think the only way I'm going to be able to do that, if I use my artillery, bring it on. Oh, beautiful. It just barely has the range for it. Now that, that is sexy. Look at this. Going to move on over. I'm going to bomb. I'm going to go ahead and blow up the mountain again. Beautiful. It pushes. Excuse me. <clears throat> hey, uh, game real quick. Uh, game. Hey, uh, See, now, when I saw that he was going to bump into that guy, I thought he was also going to push him. They kind of just both move over to the right. Um, apparently, I was wrong because he is still very much so alive, and that is a problem. Um, what do I do about this? I'm not entirely certain because I think that move alone may have just entirely or royally screwed over this run. We were so close. We are going to be losing, I think, one of our civilian buildings I am going to take another hit, but that's perfectly fine in my standard. We're still ending with less than four damage, but we, we will lose one of our power grids, but we did protect the emergency battery, so we might get it back regardless. So let's end the turn. Let's see what happens. Can I, can I punch this guy? No, I, if I punch him, he's going to go into the buildings and that's going to do more damage. Yeah. Okay. Sadly, we do lose one build. We do lose a little bit of power. Yes. Continue. Let's see what happens, right? They should be leaving directly after this. Archive airstrike on the way. Beautiful. You missed your target. <laughs> you missed your target. A little bit of damage there. There goes one of the power grids. 144 people immediately just died, I guess. And there we go. They're fleeing. Beautiful. You scared them off. They're gone. Fantastic. Mission complete. Region secured. End health. Less than four mech damage. Protect the emergency batteries. And we got the time pod. That's right. I forgot about that. Your mechs look almost untouched. That's a relief. It allows to assign our crew wait okay let's read this again <laughs> your mechs look almost untouched that's a relief it'll it'll allow us to assign our repair crews to reinforce the refugee shelters instead i don't know why but that felt like a tongue twister to me i don't know why but we did get two promotions on both of our characters here beautiful uh i oh i actually have to open the door on the pod what is going on here? Pod contents, light tank, any class weapon, deploy a small tank to help in combat. What? Any class weapon? 
I can just deploy a small tank and a reactor core. Reactor cores are used to upgrade your mechs between missions. Okay, hang on a second though. I can just deploy a small... I see this happening. You see this animation happening here on the right side screen? Are you telling me that this cannon is shooting out just a tank? Is that is that just how the future works? Okay, sure. Why not? <laughs> Why not? I, I suppose. Let's continue along. Do we get to upgrade our guys? Promote a new skill unlocked. Plus two mech HP. Oh, wow. Plus two HP. That's a lot. Like, that's... That's a pretty good amount. And we also got thick skin immune to acid and fire. So my main mech guy no longer has to worry about staying in the middle of fire. That's beautiful. Seismic activity. What's going on? Okay, well, reactor cores. You now have a reactor core. Open the mech upgrade screen and install it. Okay. I can install it here. Do I really want to install this on my cannon? Not really. Uh, you can use this button to install reactor cores in a mech. Each core increase a mech's maximum reactor power by one. Okay. I kind of want to put him on my main mech guy, though. Either that, or maybe I want to put it on my artillery. The artillery does a lot. If I do this, what does it exactly give me, though? A core increase of mech's maximum reactor power by one. Okay. A power, I'm assuming, means that we can go ahead and put a point into one of these abilities. Buildings immune. This tech will no longer damage grid buildings. Oh, hello? Oh, that's, that's amazing. I, I kind of want that. So if I go ahead and install this on my... Install that there. The mech can now power weapons and upgrades. Okay, cool. That's kind of what I was thinking. So I want to do buildings immune. Sure glad I didn't decide to blow up. <laughs> yeah, okay. We need one more power. Beautiful. It looks like it really wants us to put it on health. No, 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 no. Come back here. Come back here. Give rid of that. Oh, we can we can move them around freely. Now that is a nice touch of detail. So our artillery now has four health. It can't damage buildings. It'll help move soldiers away from stuff. That's very good. And we have thick skills, so we're immune to fire. Things are really starting to shape up. Light, light tank any class weapon so i can just this is just in storage do i throw this somewhere light tank I, I, do i like replace it oh i see you just kind of like add it as another like ability not power to play small tank to help in combat uses per battle one do i need to like actually power it with my like ability requires two power oh okay so we do have it but we don't have the reactor cores for it just yet Wait, this is all really starting to shape up to something. I I, I like this game. It has a lot of intricacies to it. it. Has a lot of kind of nuance, kind of like more strategies that I was ever prepared or aware of. This is fun. And hey, if you guys have been enjoying the content in general, if you've been enjoying the video, please by all means like the video, comment down below what it is that you like, and maybe let me know what it is that you don't like, or maybe let me know about the different secrets. Well, maybe not the secrets, but different strategies that I might be missing. Something that I might be messing up here on. I always appreciate all the feedback. But hey. Before we even take a look at what it is that's going to be happening here, I think we've had enough time here on the episode. I know, I know. You just, it's a cliffhanger. Warning, Hive Leader drawn out by your offensive against the Vec. The Hive Leader is assaulting the corporate HQ. Well, if you guys want to go ahead and take a look at that, you're just going to have to watch the next episode. So thank you, DigiDees, for watching the video. I still don't really know how to do any of these outros because God knows I ramble on for way too long. But there's one thing that I can always guarantee you. That we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you and bye-bye. Ooh, baby.